we change our approach for photographic based 3D measurements. We are actually introducing a new product on the market uh, this week, and uh, which is right here. And I will explain a little bit what is our vision and, and how we, uh, we use photogrammetry to actually increase the, uh, the, uh, the quality of the measurements we're taking with our existing uh, optical technology. So uh, let's start by talking a little bit about the history of 3D measurement. Uh, since, you know, if we go back there um, 100 years ago, um, we had obviously some antique tools and after that, it became a necessity to increase the speed and the density of measurements. So obviously we have the, uh, the meter standard, but after that you have the manual tools, and after that the CMM, the probing with CMM. But again, with probing, which is you know uh, uh, a really accurate device, but there was a need for uh, more speed and higher density in measurement. Okay. So after that, since maybe 20 years or so. Uh, there has been some uh, 3D scanning, okay? So laser scanning, uh, white light scanning, all those uh, those those devices were creating high density measurements. So going from one point at a time with the CMM machine to you know thousands and millions of points per second. Okay, so that is the first trend in the evolution of the 3D measurement. And after that, and and also you know why we needed to, to wait a little bit to evolve is the, our capacity to, or, or our ability to, to, to get all those information. Okay. Because 20 years ago, uh, there was no, no possibility or no computers could, could process that, that amount of data, like thousands and thousands of points at a time. But you know, right now, if you take the... Um, the, the example of the CERN in France, the, uh, the, the collider that can treat gigabytes and terabytes of, of, uh, of information each and every second, uh, we have the ability to treat or to compute and process that kind of information. So that's why now the 3D scanning has, is, is, is coming and is more and more popular. And the other trend is obviously accuracy, yeah, because uh, a measurement needs to be accurate. You don't want to measure if it's not accurate. So uh, obviously there was, you know, different kind of uh, of technologies that can that can provide uh, the, the, that accuracy. Interferometry, the laser triangulation, laser triangulation, which is you know pretty much the basic technology behind uh, the laser uh, laser scanning. And there's also photogrammetry. So for for those who are not the familiar with photogrammetry. Uh, Photogrammetry is actually creating 3D points coordinate of uh, targets or retroflected targets or something in uh, a picture by acquiring uh, images, multiple overlapping images at different angles. Okay? So if you look at the right end of the screen, you have all those camera positions that will actually record the same points that you can see on the bottom in the green. Okay? So with uh, a, a software that will actually bundle uh, all those those camera positions and compute uh, the position of those targets. So photogrammetry, uh, photogrammetry based 3D measurement is, is still one of the most accurate and reliable technology in 3D measurement these days. Okay? This is really a technology that is still considered as the best to create a 3D point coordinate. Yeah. Um, like it's it's not it's not something new. Okay. It's it's been out there for 150 years. Obviously, at that time, it wasn't digital imaging, but uh, and it's it's widely used in the industry, uh, especially aerospace, for now about 50 years. And it's the technology that will provide the most accurate positioning for probing and scanning devices. Uh, because all scanning or probing device needs a positioning system to work. Okay? So it can be a CMM machine, it can be a, a, an arm, it can be a, a laser tracker, it can be whatever, or a tripod, local GPS, but something to track their position and identify their position when you do the measurement. Okay? So photogrammetry will help optical system to have 
the most accurate positioning. So, right now, what we see here is it, it all looks good, so, but what's next? What, what can we do to improve that? Because since it's already accurate, it's been used for 50 years, everything looks fine in there. So, what we are saying is, is we want to, there's a need for a, a, a new approach. Uh, photogrammetry is still considered an ultra specialized area. Okay? And, and if you don't have a strong experience in photogrammetry, uh, you won't be able to perform an accurate measurement. Okay? Uh, and also, the burden to generate an accurate measurement still, uh, still lies on the operator. Okay? So like I said, if you don't have an experience in photogrammetry, it's kind of uh, a difficult process and, and it, it really relies on the operator to create the accurate model. So, you know, we are missing a photogrammetry device that can provide the accuracy because it's the main purpose of the, uh, the technology and also make it accessible to the non-expert. So, you know, like I said before, we are introducing a new, uh, a new product on the market today, which is uh, this, the, the Maxa 3D. What you see right now is pretty simple. It's simply a video camera, okay? nothing really particular. Um, the, the advantage of it is more in the software, okay? because uh, obviously, photogrammetry works with digital, digital image. So you just take digital image, it's, it's more what you do with the image that will actually uh, give you your accurate model or not. Okay? So, Again, uh, sorry about that. Uh, like I was saying before, you can actually use that in you know uh, factory floor, shop floor environment uh, to to actually create your uh, your basis or your reference for your measurement. And why would you do that? Uh, basically, to increase the accuracy in uh, in our case for preformed technology. Uh, which are pretty much all optical technology. We have on the, if you look on the left hand side, we have the optical CMM, which is a, a tracker, an optical tracker with two different cameras that will actually see the probe that you see here. Okay? On the probe, you have optical reflectors, okay? and the cameras will actually see the optical reflectors, and by triangulation principle, you will get the location of the probe. Okay. So it's an arm-free wireless probe. And also, what is great, and, and you have the same principle for a scanner here. So you have the same optical CMM that sees the targets that are on the scanner, the laser scanner, and you can actually track its position and scan the part. Okay. But what is completely Know, new about this and why uh, why it's comparing with uh, for example an arm or a tracker is that with a usual probing device you need a fixed setup okay on a CMM or even in uh, for a measurement with an arm you need to fix your measuring device you need to fix your part and then you can perform 3d measurement in this case if you put on your part optical reflector as well the optical CMM will track the, the probe or the scanner, but it's going to track at the same time the reflectors that are on the actual part. Okay? So this means that even if you bump into the part, you don't, you're, you're not going to mess up your, your measurement. Okay? Because everything is relative to the optical CMM that tracks both the part and the probing system at the same time. Okay. So this means that even if you don't, and, and we're trying by doing that to avoid any errors coming from, you know, quality of the setup, the experience of the user, uh, the environment conditions, like if, if you're performing measurement on the shop floor or, you know, in, in an unstable environment. So that's what we are trying to do. Not have just an accurate uh, measuring system on the spec sheet, having an accurate uh, measuring system on, you know, when you perform your measurement. Okay? So, like I said, if you have reflectors on your part, 
uh, you will have a certain accuracy. Okay? So our system can work as a standalone device. They don't always need the max shot. But if you need uh, bigger scans, uh, com uh, more complex parts, uh, uh, bigger measurements, you can use the photogrammetry to establish the position of the reflectors on the part okay? and, and provide even more accuracy to the measurement. Okay? So that's what we are trying to do with the max shot today. But for those who, who know about uh, photogrammetry, you will say, okay, there's nothing different about this because photogrammetry, all the photogrammetry system on the market today will provide the accuracy. It's the main purpose of it. So uh, on this, that's true. We are also providing a high accuracy, but we are not different from the others on that specific point. Okay? So, what we, we, we are trying to do, and what I was saying before that we were trying to make it accessible to the non-expert, is that with usual photogrammetry system, you only have you know, uh, uh, a digital camera, normal digital camera. You take your pictures, okay? it's pretty much like shooting uh, family photos, okay? that ain't really different. You're just taking pictures, but you don't have any feedback coming from the system. Okay? So, you don't know if you're actually doing it right. You don't know if you, you, you are actually, you're gonna actually end up with the accurate model that you want, okay? So what we're trying to do is having some feedback coming from the system. And this is all in the software that comes obviously with uh, the Mac Shop. So in the software, we have some color indicators that will actually guide you if this specific target is red, this means that you need more, uh, more shots you need to correct your, your model. We also have in the image browser, we don't see it pretty much in the, uh, in the image right now, but each picture has uh, a colored frame, which is green, yellow, or red, that will give you a general quality of the picture you just took. Okay? And what is really great about all this is that it's a live update. So on the right hand side, on the 3D view, you can see your 3D model of the target. So all the, 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 the 3D points are actually the, the targets you're trying to acquire. So this will update each time you take a picture. Okay, so each time you take a picture, it's going to recompute the 3D model instantly in, in like a fraction of a second. And you will be able to have a feedback after each picture acquisition. So this means that even if you don't have a strong experience in photogrammetry, you can actually rely on the software to guide you through the process. Okay? So again, accurate measurement, but also more accessible. And we also have some visualization option in the software. For example, if you want to know on a specific point of view which targets were, were actually measured, you can see that in the software. If you want to have to check one specific target, which is you know more important for you, or whatever, or you see that this particular target is red, you can actually double click on it and see all the points of view that you have acquired uh, that have seen that particular target. Okay, so this would give you an indication. Okay, I'm missing one position right there, so I'm just gonna retake it. I'm missing this position. I'm gonna retake it. And at the end, you can also get your general coverage the whole general coverage of your whole model. Okay? Because basically, photogrammetry, but to, to create uh, an accurate model, you need camera position from pretty much all 360 degrees around your part. Okay? You're trying to cover as many points of view as possible. Okay? So at the end, you can actually get this and see, okay, I'm missing this position, I'm missing this position. And if I go back a little bit, on the feature table at the end, you can see each and every uh, target and the standard deviation and error on that target will update each time you're taking a picture. Okay? So with regular photogrammetry system, the, you, you will take the images. So let's say you, you take 100 pictures of your part. You take that, you transfer that to a computer, you run the, uh, you, you import them into a software. After that, you run the algorithms, the photogrammetry algorithms, and after 30 minutes of calculation, that's the first time you will get an indication on the quality of your model. 
it. But that's exactly what we don't want. We want to have an education while we're doing it okay, to actually improve the quality of the model and also improve the, uh, the speed of the process. Um, and also, since you know, we guide uh, the, um, the user, we have more accurate model and we have a positioning model that is fit for larger parts, we can actually shorter the measuring time on larger parts. So if you have, uh, you want to create a measurement with your optical CMM probe or with your optical CMM scanner, uh, you can do that by moving, for example, you're, you're doing car, you can easily move your measuring system and perform your measurement. So this will obviously shorter the measuring time. So to, to, to sum up, the, the MacShot 3D will actually add at the accuracy and speed of photogrammetry, okay? So photogrammetry is, is well known, it's there. We, we already had some optical technology that were great, that were providing good accuracy, but it, it actually uh, increased the range of applications that, that are now possible with three-form technology by, by increasing or providing even more accuracy with our existing technology. And this is especially uh, variable when it comes to larger or more complex parts. And like I said, this is also for for those who are familiar with photogrammetry, we know about it, they, they are experts, they will, you know, they, they still can use our system, it's gonna provide the accuracy that they want. But what is new about this one is that we open up to, uh, to pretty much everyone, and we have, um, we, we kind of make it accessible to you know, non-experts. So, to come back to what I was saying before, we had our first trend in improving 3D measurement, which was to try to increase the speed and the density of measurement. And the, the solution for that was more in 3D scanning, in optical probing, that will actually uh, uh, increase all that. And this, we already had that, okay? But also, the second trend is to increase the accuracy. And, and this, we, we actually improved it by providing photogrammetry. So the result is actually combining those two trends and try to, prof uh, to, to provide to our customer by combining the MaxShot and our existing technology with high speed, high density, accurate uh, measurement. Okay? So that's pretty much what the, the, the MaxShot will provide you. And uh, so if, if you want to come by our booth, so this was not an actual demonstration, we have the MaxShot working at our booth number 622. So if you want to come by and see a demonstration, we'll be more than pleased to, to provide you with that. So do you have uh, any more questions? No? It was clear?